Welcome to another Oatana Wrestling Weekly podcast. Head coach Derek Johnson, and I have Coach Gabe uh, to my right here, middle school coach during the season, and then in the spring, our freestyle and Greco director for the OWA. Yeah. Welcome back. And yeah, that, we're going to be talking a lot about that because tis the season. We, yeah, it we is got the season. Full force. Uh, we have some kids going to some tournaments here and there, but for the most part, um, it's freestyle Greco. Uh, but Oatana Wrestling Weekly Podcast is once again brought to you by Flemke Insurance Agency. So uh, Mr. Ben Flemke and his team, they basically act as uh, like your liaisons, your sports agents that are going out and trying to get your best deal possible. Uh, sorry, I have free agency on the mind with the Vikings <laughs> right now. Um, and so they, they hunt down uh, the best possible fit for both coverage and premium for you uh, among dozens of carriers. So Ben Flemke... And his team over at Flemke Insurance Agency, thank you so much for your support of this podcast. And yeah, so um, I'm going to start off real quick, though, with something that we have coming up tomorrow. Uh, that's NYWA Middle School State. We yes. have a team that's been training three times a week here um, since uh, basically their season was completed at the end of January. Yeah. So they've kept this going and this, seen a lot of good dedication. Yeah. The group of kids that um, are on this team, it was... a. Uh, it was open to everybody to be on the team. Um, certain weights for for the um, for the athletes. Uh, they have their guys that start, um, but everybody was welcome. Anybody that wanted to be part of it, could have been part of it. Yeah, their season actually hasn't stopped yet. Right. <laughs> Honestly, yeah. yeah. I mean, you can't say since their season ended, they've been going since True. November. Yeah. Um, yep. Dedication there, and I have a feeling there's going to be quite a few of them just going to keep rolling right into the freestyle and Greco practice and. Hopefully I can snag some of them to go to tournaments with me. Yeah. Yeah. Well, and we've kind of uh, merged those practices, you know, some freestyle Greco and then tacked on for those middle school kids, a little bit of folk style yep. at the end to make sure they're getting their cardio because, you know, they, they want to keep that up. Yep. Um, but yeah, we're going to have two of those team members on our uh, podcast today, shortly here. Um, so that's exciting. And yeah, hopefully they make it into day two where... Uh, Thursday, uh, the 30th, and then hopefully they make it to the 31st. So. Yeah. And this yeah, is over their spring break. Yeah. And they're so still training. Yeah, they're still training. They're, the, they're the, the few that are not the few. There's only a few that had to go on their family spring break that ain't going to be on the team. So yep. they're going to be down a couple guys, but I they, they go to wrestle. Anybody can beat anybody. Absolutely. Absolutely. And, and with the freestyle practices going on now, so they're actually wrestling both freestyle and Greco practices and folk style practice, yeah. but we've we've steered away in practices of the typical freestyle, like the gut wrenches. We still were doing just more elevated moves. Mm. That once we transition full freestyle Greco, there's a few little um, different ways of doing them to score a little higher pointage sure, for the okay. freestyle part of it. Um, like we've never really in uh, folk style, we don't really teach headlocks. Right. at a young age because then kids start relying on them and yeah. they don't learn anything else because once they learn it it's candy it, it's, and they want their candy all yep, the time yep then. so yep. um we did go over uh, a, a headlock last night and okay. from the looks of it um we can ask the two uh visitors <laughs> or the two guests we have tonight what they thought of that headlock um but we, basic just basic moves feet yeah. to back moves and you know they they can come in handy in desperation Absolutely. or if it's just there and you feel it you got to take it. Yeah. You don't want to, you don't want to force it. That, right. That's something, right. these moves, you don't, you can't force the moves that we're showing in freestyle because you force it, you could, uh, in folk style or freestyle, it, it could go the wrong way. <laughs> yeah. We see that happen quite often. Yeah. Well, and it, I mean, that's smart for you guys, uh, you and coach Yule to kind of discuss and not try to confuse, yes. you know, these middle <laughs> schoolers, you know, cause all of a sudden they're going to be trying to hit a gut during folk yeah, style and, and that, clasp that was, and or present. Yeah, and, or and then they get too. called for stalling. And, right. Yeah. And, but in freestyle, that's what you do. You, right, you yeah. just freeze and lock up, and it, it it'll be good for them. That right. I mean, the moves that we did show, um, basically firemen's. You can elevate that for freestyle and for freestyle, get more points. Yeah. But in folk style, it's still a five point move if you do it right. Oh sure. So sure. yep. Well, and um, so for one of the first freestyle Greco practices, you had uh, a high ranking freestyle official in to sit down with the parents and yes. the wrestlers and go over freestyle Greco is a great uh, refresher. I came away with some new <laughs> knowledge too. Like it's just, you know, 
free unlike folk style which has teeny little tweaks here yeah. and there freestyle and greco i mean they they can do whole scoring changes yep. so that was great to have him in the room yes so. it's a constant change because it's whatever the international all the other yeah. countries agree on it's not just a united states wrestling because if you go over to europe and you say hey let's wrestle folk style they look at you and say what's that yeah right they have or go to canada they mm-hmm. they, they 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 don't even know what folk style i mean the border people do because they see right, it, yeah. but but you get up into Canada, they they have no clue what folk style is. Right. Nobody does really. Yeah. So it's yep. it's it's a whole different game, but it's it's still the same. Right. Right. So yeah, I, I loved um, you know what kind of value that added to our program. That was awesome. So thank you. Yeah. Thanks. It's a great idea, and thank you to uh, Pete Queasley. Pete Queasley. Yes. Yep. Okay. He he. I got a hold of him, and um, Bill Hinchley back in the day used to do it for us. Bill is now retired from it and, um, and has stepped out. Um, he put in, I, I want to say, over 50 years. Yeah, I easily. Mean, he's always <laughs> yeah. been there. He's, he, he's, his boys are still in it. I know one boy still coaching at Cannon Falls, I believe. Okay. Um, and it's, yeah, he, he would come into practice and go over every rule one night. We'd all just sit down and just listen. Yep. And I thought that's a, that's a great idea for all the new guys, even the old, older guys that have been doing it for the past few years. Um, Hear the new rules. I yeah, mean, I was learning stuff too because I actually did the clinics oh, before sure. him. He came in, and I'm sitting there going, "Ooh, I like that one. Ooh, I don't like that one." Yeah, <laughs> but it, it, you got to take the good with the bad. Yeah, it was great, and, and to have that in real time. You know, he was at, he was taking questions from the parents. They're bringing up some very specific kind of borderline mm-hmm. situations, scenarios, and he was saying like, "Well, most officials would probably lean this way." Yep. But I know, you know, so it, it was great to be able to get that sounding board right there. Yep. Um, and, I, and, yeah. and I also heard that he did say not every official is the same is going to score it the same way. Right. Um, because yep. they're, they're still learning, too. And that's, mm-hmm. that's the thing. I mean, you're not going to get every official. They're not, not every official is the same official. Right. They don't, yep. they don't have a piece of paper say, okay, that how he turned is a score. You know, so it's, right. it's hence why they have at the big tournaments the the – that the state tournament, there's three refs per mat, and two out of three have to score the same for you to get that point. Sure. So all yeah. that two out of three, I mean, but then again, yeah. you're not you're not wrestling the ref. Right. <laughs> so yeah. he, say it all the time. Yep. Don't yep. let him in the match. Yep. Don't don't leave it up to him. Yep. Exactly. So. Exactly. Well, that's great. It was a great message. It was a great kind of mini clinic that yep. he put on. So, um, yeah, that was excellent, and we're. Back at it with practice and one more thing on yeah. that. He did ask that he, he goes because I offered, you know, to pay for his gas to come or, you know, buy him supper or something sure. on them lines. He goes, work on getting me another ref out of your town. OK, so if there's right. anybody just out there interested, you want to be a freestyle Greco ref. It's not a bad gig. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I would do it, but I'm a coach. Right. If they need help. I do it at tournaments when if they need help with a ref, I'll I'll sit at a table and be a judge. I, sure. I won't go out on the mat. I don't have the certification for that. But, right. Right. But at an open tournament, anybody can ref and it's a great way to meet people. So if anybody's interested, yeah. All right. <laughs> give me a call. Que- Queasley has the uh yeah, the the recruiting yep. out. So yep. that's good. Awesome. Well, sounds good. And uh yeah, chomping at the bit. Let's let's get to our guest okay. here in a just a moment. We'll be right back. All right, welcome back to the Oatana Wrestling Weekly Podcast. We're here with eighth grader um, and a, a legacy of sorts, Tate Kaplan. How are we doing today, sir? Good. How are you guys? We're doing <laughs> great. Thank, Good. You. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, so, so Tate, um, as an eighth grader and uh, as an NYWA team member for the middle school state coming up here, um, how... How many years have you been at it now? I feel like I've, I've seen you since, I mean, diapers basically mm-hmm. out on the mat. <laughs> uh, yeah, I've been wrestling for 12 years, since I was two, preschool. Okay. okay. Since yeah. you were two? Yep, that, that tracks then, because, yep, I wasn't sure if you were an eight-year-old in diapers, but no, okay, <laughs> so I'd, you were age-appropriate for diapers, so that's good. Preschool. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. Good. Nice. And uh, so your eighth grade year... Kind of king of the school at that point. Uh, how'd your season go for you? Went pretty good. I didn't lose that much. I forgot my record, but um, that's okay. Yeah, I don't remember it, but I think I did pretty good. Yeah. From what I've seen, he did fairly well. Yeah. Yep. 
same here. I spied on you a little bit from time to time, <laughs> so that's good. Um, and yeah, I heard you were a really good advocate, uh, a really good leader in the room, so that's appreciated too. Um, and now you're entering the off season here. What have you been up to? What are you working on this spring? Um, well, I'm going into baseball, but I've been yep. doing a lot of lifting and stuff like that, just self-improvement stuff. Yeah. Mostly. Okay, good. Nice, nice. Well, and how about, um, sort of circle back a little bit, now that you're leaving middle school, big graduation up to the high school and everything, what would you say your favorite middle school wrestling team moment was? Uh, team moment? I don't know. Or like your favorite moment, just specifically, a match, a Probably. tournament. I don't think there was a like, specific match, but just tossing kids I really liked it was fun. <laughs> Yeah, yeah. Got called for it a couple times, though, but... Yeah, he had some mat returns that were borderline. Yeah, but see, <laughs> freestyle, that, that's, that's okay to yeah, do that's that good stuff. stuff. So, yeah. so we'll see how this baseball season goes. Right? <laughs> <laughs> then you need to work on that skill a little bit. Yeah. Yeah. No, that's awesome. That's awesome. So what, what in, what's your favorite move to be doing right now? Um, I really like the gator roll. Like okay. front headlock. Okay. To the gator roll. But my favorite shot's probably just a sweep single okay. to the outside. Nice. Okay. Is that, uh, l let's say you're going to pin someone, what's kind of your most used move if you're going for the stick? I really like an arm bar and a arm double bar. arm bar. Ooh, okay. a double. Some pain. Mm -hmm. Okay. That makes sense. That makes sense. Yeah. Well, and going into, what are you most excited about going in, you know, making that transition from eighth grade to ninth grade? Um, probably the competition. Like, because okay. I know that high school is going to be like a step up, harder, harder practices, everything like that. So, like, I'm ready for it. I'm, I want a harder competition. Yeah. Oh. I'm liking his answers. I know. <laughs> he's, he's right on. <laughs> Chomping at the bit. Well, and you would have had a little bit more action near the end of the season, kind of got, uh, well, not just dinged up, but you know, you're, mm -hmm. anytime you're dealing with like a sports hernia or anything like that, that's that's tough to work through. So, um, yeah, I'm excited to have you up there and see how you fare as well. How much you weigh in these days? Around 125. 25. So I'm wrestling at NY. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Nice. That's a that's a big step up. You were you were going like 105 your seventh grade year, right? Weren't you wrestling around there? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Well, and you're how tall are you now? Like. Five eight to like five nine around there. Yeah, yeah, he's definitely that because I'm, I, I know how tall I am. <laughs> he's taller than me, so yeah, they're yeah, about right. Yeah, I gave uh, Egermont. What did I say for you? One forty five. I think your dad and I were talking about for uh, freshman year. So yeah, I'm thinking of gaining a lot of weight. Nice. Yeah, that's 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 big boy weight there. Yeah. Going from junior high to that weight. Yeah. So you better be hitting the weights, mm -hmm. eating right. So you got baseball season now. What what other sports do you play? Uh, just football, baseball, and wrestling. Okay. Baseball, what's your favorite position? Um, probably shortstop. All right. You like that action, huh? Mm -hmm. Okay. Are you good? I mean, you can be honest. I was all right. Okay. I definitely need some improvement, <laughs> but, um, okay. yeah. Yeah, how about as a hitter? Power hitter, contact, what are we doing? Uh, definitely need some improvement there, too. <laughs> <Okay>. <laughs> just general improvement. So, okay. so could you work on your bunting and use your speed then? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Nice. How about football uh, favorite positions? Fullback. Fullback. Full Ooh. Mm -hmm. And then outside linebacker for defense. Nice. Oh, okay. he's hitting. Yep. He wants the action there. Mm -hmm. All the more reason to pack on that muscle. <laughs> yep. Bam. <laughs> nice. Well, um, who, who are some of your kind of regular partners in the room? Uh, I practice with Jace a lot, but... Jace. Fearing. Fearing. Okay. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I don't really... No, I try to switch it around a little bit, but it's kind of hard because there's nobody around like my weight a lot. Yeah, mm -hmm. like Aaliyah Fisher's there too. Practice with her sometimes. Probably um, Fran Tessel every once in a while. Yeah, yeah, will. Yeah, but nice. Yeah. Well, and if we're talking 145, hopefully playing everybody's hitting weights and stuff like that. That's like it's probably going to be some good uh, Trey Hyatt territory, stuff like that mm -hmm. next year in the practice room. So you'll definitely get pushed. That'll be yeah. great. You have some good practice partners there. Yeah. yeah. From the weight you're at 
all the way up to 45, there's going to be some very good practice partners solid. there. Yeah. Yeah. I'm ready for the challenge. Okay. Good. I'm good. Good. Nice. Well, and so Tate Kaplan, um, give us a little bit about your family dynamic. Like who, um, who are we talking about? My dad has been coaching for, I don't even know, longer <laughs> than I've been born. Um, What's his name? Chet Mock. <laughs> Chet Mock. Oh, oh, yeah, that's oh, right. You're, you're that, oh, okay, that Jim guy, Bruce. that guy. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yep, yep. And he was the one that got me into wrestling young okay. and stuff. But my brother used to wrestle. He doesn't anymore. And then my mom works insurance. And Lindsay. Yep. Lindsay Mock. Farmers. Nice. Good plug. <laughs> yeah, right? Yeah. No, that's great. Yeah. So, yeah, and I know um, even though your your dad keeps saying uh, once Tate graduates, I'm done coaching, we all know that's a yeah. lie, and he's in for another 20. So, Probably. yeah. <laughs> uh, okay, so off of wrestling, off of sports, what do you do for hobbies? What do you yeah. like to do just um, on your own time? It's a good question. <laughs> um, I like going outside a lot, yeah. fishing, hunting, stuff like that. Okay. Um Lifting. Well, that's um, sports. Oh, mm, I, I, <laughs> is, it the, is it though? No. Being healthy, that's good. Yep. I like to eat healthy too. Okay. Um, really? Okay. Yeah. Impressive as an eighth so, grader. Sometimes, sometimes I have like, I go off track a little bit. Well, you gotta do that. Yeah, yeah but you're, I always you're like. You're a growing, yeah. strapping young man. You gotta mm -hmm. do that. So. But, yeah. So you don't so, walk past a candy jar every time and grab a handful of jelly beans? Every other time. Okay. Yeah. All right. Nice. That's the problem at my house right now. I'm like, why did you bring that in here? I know. We are the only mm -hmm. two here. Who else is going to eat them jelly beans besides me? Right. <laughs> mm-hmm. Oh, nice. Well, how about uh, some shout-outs? Who, who do you want to say hi to? Um, I don't know. My dad, my mom. Farmer's insurance. <laughs> Farmer's insurance. Okay. okay. Yeah. yeah. No I girlfriend? Girlfriends? No. Okay. Gotcha. Nice. Well, sounds good. Excited to watch you guys in the next uh, couple days here. Hopefully, we get into day two. But um, yeah, it'll be it'll be a lot of fun. I haven't got to watch you wrestle basically since January. So yeah, early January. It'll be fun. And it's gonna be fun watching these guys come through. And yeah. And how how well how much more they're already improving just from this year. From what I've seen mm -hmm. from this age group, the improvements they're already making. Right. Yep. Just to keep excelling and growing right. as young men. Mm. Yeah. Definitely seen some improvement from 7th grade to 8th grade year for myself. Good. Yeah, I'll, I'll say that too. You know, seeing, seeing you 6th and 7th grade, and uh, it was kind of like if you could bully someone, you were going to win the match. If that person was an athlete, it was a little problem. This year you were picking people apart yeah. much more technically. So yeah, that was using good. your moves rather than, yeah. than the muscle. Especially when you got like that Prior Lake jujitsu kid who looked like he was 25 and has three kids. Yeah. The full mustache. Yeah. Yep. Yeah. Oh, he's a first year kid. Yep. Uh huh. <laughs> yeah. It's first year of HGH. Yep. But yeah. Well, nice. Well, thank you for coming on, sir. And uh, yeah, I'm, I'm excited to have you in the room. I, I'm excited uh, f for what you know, you're able to put together. We have a lot of kind of long, spidery, lower to middle weights, and I'm excited about that because there's a whole other list of uh, opportunities of and styles that you can kind of implement. So, yeah, thanks for having cool. me. Yeah, awesome. Thanks, thanks for much. coming in. We'll be right back with our next guest. All right, welcome back to the Oatana Wrestling Weekly Podcast, brought to you by Ben Ben Flemke Insurance Agency. And uh, we have another NYWA team member for the middle school team here. Uh, Mr. What is, I'm sorry, what is it again? Drake Johnson. Drake, Drake the Snake. Johnson. Drake the Snake Johnson. Um, so, yeah, I don't think we're familiar or have met at all. What, what's, your, uh, what's your family lineage? Who are you related to? Uh, I'm related to you. <laughs> what? Um, what? And then I have my sister named Nora. Yeah. Um, Big sister, or little sister. Big sister, by okay. four years. Oh, okay. So. Yeah, yeah. And then uh, who else coaches? Who's involved in the program? Uh, my grandpa. Uh, he's a all around coach. He likes coaching from youth to high school level. So yeah, Coach Doyle Johnson. And he's been around for a while. Yeah. yeah. Did you know he used to be my coach? 
No. At one point, he was coaching me. <laughs> That's how long he's been around. Yeah, all the way back to 87 <laughs> when we moved into town. So, yeah. No, that's great. And so how many years have you been wrestling? How long have you been wrestling consistently? Well, um, I, I took some time off from a couple of years ago. And then I, before that, I stopped from preschool level. And then I, now I'm coming back into it, and I'm really liking it. Yeah, so Good. as a seventh grader, how many years is this kind of back-to-back? Two years. Two years. Okay. Two so complete f- years. For all intents and purposes, a second-year wrestler. And, and how did year two go for you during the regular season? The first one, it wasn't that good. I did pretty bad. But second one, I stepped up, and I did as I did pretty well. You did. Yeah. You did, yeah, really well. And, you know, being a sixth grader weighing 115, you know, it's yeah. not like uh, – you know, every once in a while you're catching some real eighth graders, mm-hmm. some yeah. kids that probably sniff J V time in their <laughs> yep. yeah. in their hometowns. So yeah, that was a, that was a big change and I mean you're growing at the right time too. You kinda leaned out and yeah. but you've also been working hard. What have you been up to? Um, I've been really lifting. Um, I've been trying to get bigger and stronger. Um, I'm really gonna do some lifting on the off season and it's really gonna be pretty fun. So yeah. Okay. Back to what you said that you had your just your second season. Mm-hmm. You said your first season didn't you didn't do too well. Yeah. I'm gonna correct you on that. You were learning again. Yes, I was learning okay. again. Okay. Yep. There's never yep. said. There's no such thing as a bad season. Yeah. If you're if you're trying it, there's nothing. No such thing as a bad season. You're learning. Yeah. So that that's I'll just change that. And now this year, watching you at the middle school, from day one when I came here, it would have been day. 10 when I came in yeah. <laughs> till the end I seen a ton of improvement yeah. and actually finishing you I at the beginning you were hooking the moves up yeah and then you were like ooh now what do I got it yeah it's now it's the process and you you pick that up now you're finishing the moves you're yeah. hooking them up and finishing them mm-hmm. which is great that means you're learning you're paying attention mm-hmm. and it it only shows improvement and you're getting better and you can see it you can feel it so yeah. that's a good thing mm-hmm. Yeah, and that's the thing with with wrestling too is like the the instincts just take time. That's why we mm-hmm. talk about mat time and you and yeah. I talk about that a lot where you know, where you're kind of making up for time from all these kids that have been wrestling their entire lives. But at the same time, you know, if if you know, maybe in a way that's a good thing, people can develop some bad habits that have been doing it forever. So mm-hmm. you're starting from scratch with some really great coaches and yeah. can tell you I mean already like you have kind of some favorites what are some of your go-to's like if you're gonna get a takedown how are we doing that so i really like to do a duck under to a a mat return which is probably my Mm go-to but i also like to go for a high crotch and that's those are my two favorites yeah good Mm -hmm. what 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 move uh, from the top position top position i do um a chop to a half nelson perfect yep that's that's (laughs) that Between that and for me, it was a half Nelson or the Gator Grip. Yeah, yep. that, that, it was the, the they're two bread and butter. If you can do a good half, yep. even if you don't get it, you're wearing on the kid. Just yeah. just yep. just crank on. You're gonna break him. Yeah, yeah. So that's yeah, that's awesome. And even watching this season, you know, uh, at the NYWA uh, regional, I know that was a day where you know didn't necessarily go the way you wanted to. Yeah. But, like, you had a great stand-up, you know, worked up from your belly, you know, things that at the beginning of this season, you know, you were probably going to get pinned at the beginning of the season, and you worked up, you got the the escape and everything. Now that you said that, that was one thing I did notice from the first two matches coming up from the bottom. you, you, You were struggling, but now you've figured it out, and by the end of the season, you were coming out. Nobody was holding you down, and if they you got up, if you got taken down, you popped right back up again. So yeah. That, that, that shows improvement, shows heart, shows going after it and getting better. Mm-hmm. Yeah, so and this spring you've also been, you know, you're trying out Freestyle Greco for the yeah. first time. Mm-hmm. Uh, so last night I would say is kind of your first real Freestyle Greco practice. How, yeah. how, did, how did that go? There was a bunch of kids there. It was really exciting. Um, it was really fun learning some new moves that I can use during Freestyle and Greco. But I'm still on the brink of going into tournaments or yeah. not. So. Yeah, well, 
one tournament, just go give it a shot. That's all I say. Yeah. yeah. So what did you think of the version of the one version of the headlock that you learned last night? What did you think of that, that one? Um, it was very effective. <laughs> yeah. If you set it up right, right? Yeah. It has to be set up. Yep. Yeah. Nice. Well, yeah, that'll be cool, you know, as you kind of dig in a little bit more, you know, after NYWA, you'll be able to kind of try out some gut wrench, some mm -hmm. stuff like that. I'm, mm -hmm. I'm also excited with your style um, for things like, uh, you know, the uh, an actual crotch lift and using that kind of as a defensive move. Yeah. So that'll be cool. Um, yeah, well, and that and that's awesome. And is it scary, you know, so talking to, let's say, some kids that are thinking about trying wrestling, haven't, at least in a while, uh, what would you say to them as, as far as, like, if they're nervous about coming out at, as a junior hire? Well, I would just say start by going to one practice, see how you like it, try to learn some new moves, and if you like it, keep going to practices, then eventually go to tournaments and um, just keep – just keep trying it, and if you if it's not for you, then you don't have to do it. Yeah, that is that's you got to try. Yeah, I like that answer. Yeah, yeah. Okay, now I'm gonna we're gonna we're gonna cut Coach Johnson slash Dad slash yeah. everybody out of this question. Yeah. <laughs> so, I know what it's like growing up with your dad being your coach. Yeah. There's good days and bad days, right? Yes, there is. <laughs> what do you? in a nice way, kind of say to your dad, when you, you're just had enough to talk about wrestling, do you have any, do you and your dad have any certain kind of, hey, I'm just done, or you have any certain words you just say, or do you just walk away? I just walk away. Yep, okay. Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly what I did too. I, yeah. We would try, you know, we would have times. Do you guys have time where you just don't talk about wrestling? Yes, there that, is. That's good. I was going to say, if you don't, you need... A window like dinner table. There is no wrestling talk. Yes, there is yep. none. Okay, that that that'll that'll keep the, your relationship really healthy. <laughs> yeah. I was just, yeah. to, I was just yeah. gonna throw that out and just make sure that you guys did do that. And just some yeah. advice for both of you. Mm -hmm. Yeah. I mean, I grew up with it, and oh yeah, who did it? It, it gets it gets hard. It's only gonna yeah. get harder. Mm -hmm. But just remember, he's only there to help you. Yeah. And remember, he's there to have fun and wrestle. Yeah. <laughs> and, and win eight national yeah. titles. Yeah. In yeah. Your, no. <laughs> Yeah, no, honestly, we, we don't, do, you know, we don't do that much or talk that much about wrestling. And no, no. usually it's just my own thing of I'm pretty burnt out by the end of the yeah. day. I'm, yeah, and yeah. then you're, you're, all your involvement, yeah. Yeah. And, yeah. So, and I, yeah. I mean, I understand the, just the talk because, I mean, you're yeah. coaching up here. He's right. down there. Russell, you you want to know what's going on. Mm -hmm. Yeah, um, for sure. Certain time limits, I just keep it at that. But it sounds like you guys got that under control. Yeah. yeah. So what else do you do besides wrestle? Um, I play baseball and I uh, play football. Okay. What position in football do you like? Football, I am a inside linebacker, or this year I'm going for a tight end. Okay. So. All right. And baseball, what position? I'm a second baseman. Second base. Okay. Yeah. All right. What do you do for fun without sports? With, I mean, sports are fun, but what, what, what do you do other than when you're not in, involved in any sports? Well, I really like to hang out with friends and go outside and okay. yeah, it's just fun being outside. I like to bike a lot. I like okay. bike rides. Do you uh, do any mountain biking? No. Do you don't you don't do the mountain biking stuff? No. Okay. I'm gonna say if you said mountain biking, I'll swing by and pick you up. Because <laughs> I head out to the trails all the time and ride the trails at Kaplan's Park. Uh -huh. Oh, okay. There's some nice yeah. trails over there to for mountain biking, but yeah. Okay. Yeah. Um, any else? any shout outs you want to make? Speaking of friends, um, just my um, coaches and my teammates. That's oh, about it. Okay. Okay. Um, nice. Yep. Take one. I, I had a thought and I lost it. <laughs> <laughs> well, um, speaking of teammates and stuff, uh, and have you seen your your buddy Maximum Flemke around at all? Yeah, uh, he's been coming to these. Uh, practices ever oh, since good. the guy came in from um, to talk about the freestyle oh, Queasley, yeah. Yeah. Queasley? Yeah. Okay. okay. Queasley. Gotcha. Okay. So yeah, just making sure that uh, you have your music buddy. Because what yeah. what are your some of your favorite bands you like? Um, I don't really have favorites. I like multiple genres. Nice. And it's not. Well, who do you who do you geek out over with uh, Flemke though? Um. 
I, I, CCR. CCR, yeah. Oh, Queen's okay. Clear Water Revival. Yeah. And so you, you say you like all genres. Do you yes. like uh, like Sinatra and well and them guys? Well, <laughs> maybe. Maybe. So you yeah. listen to everything from classic rock to, to rock, to rock. To probably rap. Yeah, a little bit. Country. A little bit. A little bit. Okay. Yeah. He hates country. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I can only handle that so much, right? Yeah. But yeah. Southern Bluegrass. Now there, if you listen to that, now then you listen to all genres. <laughs> <laughs> nice. Yeah. Well, thank you so much for being on the podcast. Oh, Got the sorry. thought back. Okay. okay. Well, so thought. from okay. what Tate and Drake both said, what I really liked is out of season or out of sports, they both said, we like to go outside. Yeah. Oh, yeah. They, they, they didn't say, oh, I like to sit and play video games. Yeah. I right. don't know if they were just not saying that, but that is a, that's great that they're not just sitting around. Yeah, yeah. that just goes through. They they like to do stuff. Yeah. yeah. So and there's nothing wrong on a rain day to play a video game. I'm not saying yeah. there is. Right. But I mean, I haven't played one since I think it was called Sega. Oh yeah, Sega <laughs> yeah. Genesis yes. way back then. I think that was the last time I played a video game. Right. <laughs> no, Drake and I like to game and stuff. Yeah. 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 But. Especially in the winters, because it's yeah. too cold to go outside, yeah. and it's too wet. Yeah. Yeah. So, yeah. Nice. Well, thanks again for being on the podcast, you and yeah. Tate Kaplan, and good luck tomorrow. Yeah. Like, that's going to be fun. Mm-hmm. I, I got to say one shout out. Oh, yeah. Hey, Squirt. She called okay. me about the podcast today. Oh, Apparently okay. She's going to be watching when it's on, so I had to I had gotcha. a shout okay. out. Gotcha. <laughs> Nice. Awesome. Well, thank you much. And Mm -hmm. uh, thank you again to Flemke Insurance Agency for supporting the Oatana Wrestling Weekly Podcast. We're going to keep it going through April here. So um, we're going to be talking a little bit more about the banquet yet again, Oatana Wrestling Banquet, honoring middle school and high school, but also just Oatana Wrestling in general. That's going to be Sunday, April 16th. And yeah, Mm -hmm. just keep keep an eye on the uh, Oatana Wrestling Facebook page for that. So. Thank you for being on. Keep improving. All right. See you next week. Take care.